Hi, this is Bob Hilke at TopWaterIonizer.com. Today, we are going to compare water ionizers. Our top water ionizer is the Enagic SD501 Kangen water machine. The other water ionizers that we will compare will remain nameless in this video. However, if you join our newsletter, we will gladly provide the, the actual brand names. We have purposely selected all the top brand names that we are aware of that come closest to or that are the best in the metrics that we are measuring. And we'll start by showing you the, the actual data. But as we do, please pay attention to two things. One is the amount of electricity available for the ionization process. The other is how much surface area on the ionization plates is available to the water to come in contact with that electricity. It is the electricity and the surface area that are the primary factors in determining the quality or the amount of ionization that occurs. Water ionization is subject to the principles of science. Ionization is the splitting apart of water molecules, H2O, into the H plus and the OH minus ions. Because it requires electricity, the amount of ionization that occurs is a direct function of how much electricity is applied, which is the wattage, and how much water comes in contact with the electricity which is based upon the surface area of the electrolysis plates. So the more electricity and the more surface area for the water to come in contact with that electricity, the greater the amount of ionization will occur. This diagram illustrates the basic ionization process within the SD501 Kangen water ionizer. The water is first filtered and then presented to the ionization plates. The Enagic SD501 has an incredible seven electrolysis plates with 490 square inches of surface area. And it is powered by 230 watts of electricity. Upon going through the ionization chamber, the water is separated into two outputs. One is the Kangen water, which is alkaline, and the other is the acid water. Again, please note the seven plates powered by the 230 watts of electricity for a very powerful ionization process. When comparing water ionizers, there are two very important metrics. One is the surface area of the ionization plates, and the other is how much electricity is applied. To simplify our analysis, I have multiplied the surface area times the wattage of the leading water ionizers to derive a value in the column called area times watts. And then I took the highest score and assigned that a value of 1 and then compared all of the, the other area times watts values to that high score. So the, the Enagic SD501 is the greatest value in the area times watts at 112,700. So that is the machine that gets assigned the value of 1 against which all the other brands will be compared. The other scores for brand A, for example, with the area times watts value of 35,700 works out to be a value of only 32% of the value of the Enagic SD501. Brand B is a value of 0.18 or 18%. Brand C is 0.08, which is 8%, and brand D is 0.07 or 7%. So when we start to look at the numbers, it gets clear very quickly that nothing compares with the Enagic SD501. And I have purposely selected the, comp the competition brands that are the closest to the Enagic SD501. Now, if you happen to know of a brand that has a better value than any that's on the page, please contact me because I would like to keep my slides updated with the most current information. But as of the publication of this video, uh, the brands that are the closest that I was able to find to Enagic SD501 do not come close at all in surface area or wattage, and therefore when you compare the overall score, uh, the closest one is only 32% of the Enagic SD501. In looking at the surface area of the electrolysis plates, the Enagic SD501 has a surface area of 490 square inches. The next closest that I'm aware of is brand B 
which is less than 250. Actually, it's less than half of what the Enagic SD501 has for surface area. Brand A, brand C, brand D are even less. When looking at the amount of electricity applied to the water going through the water ionizer, again, Enagic SD501 is the clear winner by far. With 230 watts of electricity, brand A comes out at 150, brand B is less than 100, and brand C and brand D are both about 85. So how can you expect to compete with the Enagic SD501 when you have you know, about half or less of the electricity? If you needed to dry your hair, would you use a hair dryer that had 50 watts or 100 watts? or 250 watts. When you have the choice to get the job done, you need to select the machine that can produce the results. And that's what the Enagic SD501 will do, is it will actually ionize the water and at a rate at which you will not have to stand and wait for the water to drip out of the machine. It will produce quality results when you want it and as much as you need. Well again, looking at the Hilke score on the graph, you can see the Enagic SD501 is by far the clear winner. There's simply no comparison. When you take the surface area in inches times the wattage for the electricity and then you compare all the brands to each other, the Enagic SD501 comes, up, comes out way on top. Brand A, just over 30% of the Enagic SD501. Brand B is less than 20%. Brand C and Brand D are both less than 10% on the Hilke score. So there really is no comparison. Well, there you have it, our comparison of water ionizers. Hopefully you've enjoyed our analysis and learned something helpful. Keep in mind, again, two most important principles are how much electricity is applied to the ionization and can the water come in contact with the electricity and that's determined by the surface area. Nothing comes close to the Enagic SD501. If you are looking for a high quality water ionizer that will last for years, that will provide your family with high quality ionized water, in fact, Kangen water, the Enagic SD501 is the machine for you.